Hey Aries Collective, Happy New Year. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back. If you've been here before, thank you so much for joining me or joining me again. I hope you all are doing amazing, amazing, amazing. Take what resonates from this reading, leave what doesn't. Flip the roles if you need to. It could be past, present, or future energy or someone else around you I'm picking up on. So let's see what we get here, y'all. Let's see what we get. Mm. <laughs> Start with the dice. Because I almost forgot. I almost forgot. you my last reading, so I'm tired, y'all. <laughs> okay, you have key to. Huh. This is Taurus energy. You could be on the Aries Taurus cusp. We have Capricorn. You have Capricorn placements. Be dealing with the Capricorn. Or something about Capricorn season could be significant. We have the number five. There's some kind of conflict going on, Aries, for you. And it feels financial. Um, key two is all about material losses. And it's from spirit. It's when spirit blocks you financially because spirit wants you to focus more on your spiritual well-being than money. Okay, so that could be being superficial, being materialistic, being very worldly. And it's not the time for that. And spirit is trying to like tap you on the shoulder and call your attention to something. This is changes and there's usually changes for the worst conflicts here. So it could be a lot of financial upheaval. Three of fours. Yeah, something is painful right now. Something is hurting you right now. Could involve a Libra. Could be heartbreak. Could be a separation. Could be divorce. But this could also represent a breakthrough. So we'll have to see what clarifies it. The last three weeks, the next three weeks could be significant. The seven of pentacles. Definitely about your finances here. Seven of Pentacles is Taurus energy. I feel like something is attacking your finances. It talks about investments. Rethinking what you've been invest, um, investing in. Reevaluating and assessing. And taking the time to really pause. The sevens are inactive cards. They are a period of waiting, receiving, hope, and clarity about something and it's what you've been investing in in the past. And it feels emotional in nature, but it could be financial. Look at this. The challenge is the two of wands. Some of you have been stuck in a comfort zone. This is Aries energy. And it talks about self-doubt and keeping yourself stuck. Out of fear and comfort, even though it may be uncomfortable. Outcome, the three of wands. I love it. I love it. Because this is you as well. And this is you advancing. And now turning your back on something from the past. That was holding you hostage. This is you turning your back and moving forward. Growth. Expansion. Building blocks. Okay. This is a card of momentum and progress. I love it. By the the deck. Queen of Wands. More Aries energy. You coming out all in your own reading. Look at you working on. Working hard. Working out to Something about your money here. But let's get back to this. Um. Make sure you're staying on, in, in control of your ego with the Queen of Wands coming out, with the Eight of Pentacles. Make sure you don't let money go to your head. Like that could be what this is telling you. What's the Three of Swords? The Eight of Cups. Pisces energy with the Four of Wands. Some of you are walking away from a marriage. Aries energy. You got the Two, the Three, and the Four of um, Wands. You could be saying Two, Three, Four. Well, I was probably three, two, four, but I didn't look up. Um, yeah. Some of you, the next eight months could see you walking away from a relationship, maybe moving towards another one. This is a marriage ending. This is like, you know, out with the old and with the new. It was good while it lasted, but I'm moving on. It's a journey. It's detaching. It's leaving home. And this is the card of home. Some of you, this is someone you thought was your twin flame. You could be going through a divorce or separation right now. What's the seven of pentacles? The devil. Ten of swords. You can't make it up. Who doing all this spell work? Somebody into black magic here. A Capricorn or Gemini? Jesus. October 13th could be significant. You could be born on the 10th, the 13th, the 7th, the 4th, the 8th, the 3rd, the 2nd. You know, this is a painful ending. It's also a hex or a curse. And with the coming out with the devil, it definitely feels like somebody could be sending a lot of negative energy towards your finances. This is negative energy. Mm. But this is also trauma bond energy to me. Because this is codependency. And this is a painful ending of feeling of being betrayed and stabbed in the back. Just like those fours are stabbing that person. It's like you were giving somebody your all. You were investing heavily in them, but they were betraying you. This could also be, like I said, 
the way that you're being attacked is through your finances because spirit wants to get your attention. Maybe you have some kind of connection to the devil. The devil is actually not a person, obviously, but that could be someone in your life or something. This could be some kind of addictions. This could be where your money is going because this is like a an addiction here hitting a rock bottom. This could be somebody you've been investing in who's addicted to drugs or alcohol or something like that. And it's at a rock bottom and you're at your wit's end. Or that could be you. What's the two of wands being stuck in a comfort zone? Afraid to detach. Yeah, the chariot. You could be dealing with some kind of abuse here. I don't like this. Cancer energy. What else? The two of pentacles. You kept, it's like Capricorn energy. You keep going back and forth about leaving something or someone. Some of you could be having transportation issues as, as well or debating about getting some kind of new car just as a sidebar. Some of you have been with this person for two years, seven years. Something could happen over the last 10 weeks or, um, I mean, eight months. I already said that. Three weeks. The Knight of Pentacles is what you're moving forward to. See, this is you. I'm telling you, you might be a really routine person. This is Virgo energy. With the Three of Wands, you definitely have something stable coming in with the Magician. You are manifesting something stable here. Clarifying the Three of Wands. Growth and expansion. Your money is growing. It's been moving slow, but it's going to pick up. Things are about to turn around in your finances. You have everything you need. This is your strong willpower. Some of you, your willpower has been weak. You have lacked it with the chariot in reverse. I know it's upright, but it's in the challenge position. And this is the reason why maybe you've been juggling finances here. Money has been kind of like fluctuating a lot for you because you've been stuck in a comfort zone. Afraid to take some kind of risk or chance here. This is a card of determination and courage and willpower and drive. But this is what's been lacking out of fear stuck in the past. There's something in your past emotionally that's been holding you hostage. But I love that every card here in the future is you moving forward. Some kind of stable job offer could be coming in. This could be a romantic proposal from someone, an offer from someone that's very stable with long-term intentions and sincere feelings for you. This is what's manifesting for you. This is the card of manifestation, potential, being prepared for something. You've been slowly but surely preparing for this, whether you realize it or not. And now it's time for your ships to come in. Okay, bottom of the deck is the Fool. Look at that. This is my New Year's card, y'all. With the Six of Pentacles. With the Temperance and the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, my God. I could keep going, the Empress. Oh, my God. Money is looking good for you. Money is looking excellent for you. I feel like you could be even connecting with someone who's going to bring the same thing to the table that you bring to the table. Which is nice. It's very nice. I love it. Things are stabilizing for you and balancing out. This is some kind of leap of faith that you're going to have to take. I feel like you're being supported. Archangel Michael, some of your earth angels, you're really generous. Continue to give. Whatever you put out is going to come back to you. This is what goes around, comes around. You have good karma here. And I'm seeing you maybe end up married with a baby and really successful and abundant. Let's get a chakra card for you and close this out so I can start editing and go about my day. While you get creative expression, the Empress is creative expression. She rules over the number um, threes. You have the third chakra and the fifth chakra. I'll read both. Self-confidence. I love it. That's what the magician is. See, this is confidence for you to actually pursue something that you want. With a lot of conviction, too. You have a lot of strong willpower here. It says, I trust myself fully. I will not allow fear or doubt to hold me back from doing what I am here to do. What did I tell you here? You were doubting something. You were fearful about coming out of a comfort zone with the two of wands being there. And you kept going back and forth and holding yourself back. I have confidence, belief, and conviction. I just say the courage of your conviction. And my abilities and goals. I welcome questioning by others as they... As this gives me a chance to clarify my truth, ideas, and philosophies. I trust in a higher power and I am open to new challenges. Up for the challenge. Okay. Stepping out on faith. Fifth chakra, the throat chakra. Again, you have the empress. Let's see what the empress could be talking about before I even read this card. For some of you, I feel like it's your ability to surrender some kind of connection that's been making you sad or disappointed. Remember, you got the five here. Now you got... The five of um, cups with the five of swords. This is feeling defeated and emotionally drained and unloved and abandoned and unwanted and out in the cold and all of that. 
But I feel like you're starting to surrender that. So let's see what this Empress is all about. It looks like you are nurturing yourself moving forward. No longer just giving of yourself freely to this person. Walking away. Did I call you Pisces before when I pulled that card? I might have. Okay, it says, I am committed to sharing and revealing my thoughts and feelings by being creative in my communication style and using expressive language. I express myself through talking, singing, sighing, laughing, and crying, and through using my creative talent. I consciously use my senses to experience my world more fully. I see, hear, smell, and feel more, and I become more aware of my surroundings, such as the weather, aromas, people, nature, sounds, and sights. So you got the throat chakra and then um, this, uh, what is this? The solar plexus. Yep. I love it. I love it. So I see you really embracing your personal power and inner peace and self-confidence and self-worth and self-acceptance and trusting and accepting your gut feelings. I really do. And, you know, with the fifth chakra. This is about communication and willpower and truthfulness and setting boundaries and expression. So effective communication is important. Having the confidence to speak your mind is what's most important right now. Go for what you want because you've been holding yourself back. I see it. And it could be a lot of fear with the devil being here. Some of you may have feared something you invested in. Somebody ending it with you if you really stood up to them and spoke up to them or set better boundaries with them. But mm -mm, ain't nobody got time for that. There's a breakthrough moment happening. You're walking away. And it looks like you're walking away from an unhealthy marriage. You could be also walking towards a twin flame, a true twin flame. I feel like you were dealing with a false twin flame. All right, y'all. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And I'll see you all next time. Happy New Year. Peace.